The vast majority of life on Earth, including humans, has evolved with the natural cycle of day and night. However, this has been altered by increasing levels of artificial light at night. Excessive and inappropriate use of artificial light disrupts the circadian rhythm of living organisms and changes animal behavior. The wrong and wasteful use of artificial light is the source of light pollution. Thousands of seabirds breed along the coastal cliffs of the Maldives Islands. They are shear waters, a group of birds that are acutely sensitive to light. They are most active around their breeding colonies during the darkest periods of night. Light pollution has two major negative impacts on shear waters. Firstly, darkness is an important part of a shear water's breeding habitat. Light pollution that reaches breeding colonies prevents the adult birds from attending their nests. This is most damaging during the chick rearing period, when adults returning with food are unable to reach their chick for fear of being seen by predators. Prolonged exposure of breeding colonies to light pollution can lead to entire colonies being abandoned, a situation that is already happening in Malta. Secondly, the chicks that have been painstakingly raised over the course of months begin to fledge once they are strong enough. However, these young birds are drawn to the artificial lights in our towns and villages. They fly above these lights and exhaust themselves, or collide with structures, ending up on land instead of the open sea. Once on land, these birds will never reach the safety of the sea without assistance, and many may die without our help. Our Life Archipelago Ghania project works to reduce light pollution on the Montes Islands through policy change and by promoting best practices among relevant stakeholders. The project also continues to collect data on stranded birds and the negative impacts of light pollution on seabirds. You can help us and our share waters. Look for and report stranded birds throughout June and July and October.